Thank you everybody for joining us today. Today is April the 12th, 2023. Well, I guess some people just don't know what a covert war looks like. Two more flashpoints for those who have eyes to see what the leaders of our nation are not talking about. They're not investigating. Uh, we have the dismembering of the United States of America right before our eyes. Who needs chemtrails when we have these suspicious attacks going on on the air we breathe, the water we drink, on our uh, food manufacturing as well, and even pharmaceutical. Well, friends, today we have two very important stories for you. Fast moving forest fire in New Jersey forces evacuations. Evacuations in the middle of the night. I hope they had to go bags. This was in central New Jersey's Manchester Township. So if you're in this area and you are being affected, our prayers are going up for you today. Please stay strong in the Lord. And it says here, New Jersey Forest Fire Service, they tweeted early Wednesday morning that the fire reached 2,500 acres in size and is 10% contained. 75 building structures are threatened. And the fire agency also said in a statement, residents were evacuated. They have been relocated to the Manchester Township High School. They're being supported by the American Red Cross. And then, friends, in the next story, evacuations ordered as massive industrial fire burns in Richmond, Indiana. And that is right on the Ohio border. This is from the AP. Authorities urged people to evacuate Tuesday near a large industrial fire. This industrial fire sent massive uh, plumes of black smoke up into the sky. This fire occurred at a former factory site in Richmond, Indiana, 70 miles east of Indianapolis. And again, right on the Ohio border, it was recently being used to store plastics and other materials for recycling or resale. Friends, this was a very large factory, uh, inside storage and outside storage. And, you know, you got to ask yourself this question, who is giving these vigilantes a list of all the potential burn sites, places where we have stored plastic and the plan to make it all look so unrelated? Now, there was a city order to clean up the site. The mayor told the Associated Press, he stated that we knew that this was a fire hazard the way they were storing the materials. And the mayor also said this was a serious large-scale fire that apparently started in a tractor trailer parked on site and then it spread quickly. He said that the fire had been contained on three sides by early evening, and he also said the cause was not immediately known. Well, this is an indoor and outdoor storage facility, very, very large, the mayor said, and there were no reports of injuries. Hundreds of people living within a half mile uh, radius of the fire, they were told to leave, and then people who lived outside that radius, people who lived downwind of the fire, they were advised to keep their windows closed and their pets inside. Wind from the west blew black smoke across the state border into Ohio. Temporary shelter was offered at a church and at some local hotels. And it, the mayor said that the state and federal regulators were there at the scene to assess air quality and other environmental impacts. Richmond does have a population of around 35,000. Friends, our leadership, they need to be doing something about these situations. Uh, Babylon is falling. It's falling slowly, slowly. Falling because she has repeatedly said no to the ways of God, historically and currently. So may God have unlimited mercy on his people here in the USA. May we get our hearts right with God, friends. Let's not waste any time. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the day to go before the Lord humbly and ask him to scrub our hearts clean 
from the things that the Lord finds offensive. All right, friends. Well, Seho and I will be back again to bring you some more uh, news uh, later on today. Have a very blessed day in the Lord.